Hello everyone, we are back with our chapter that was first aid and in the previous video we learned about first aid and some different kind of fractures and today we are going to learn something different accidents that may happen with you and what are the things that you need to do in that particular situation okay so the first accident we have for burns the first one we have for burns that means if you touch any hot object or you just burn by something at that condition what are the things that you need to do okay so even the burns are of different types so the first one we have of minor if the uh, burn is minor for example you just touch a hot object and your hand is just burnt so at that situation what are the things that you need to follow okay so first of all just assume your hand is burnt by a hot object so the first thing that you need to do in the minor case of burns so first of all just let your hand under the running water okay so first of all put the burnt area under running water clear and the second thing that you need to do is to apply an antiseptic lotion or cream clear so in the second you need to apply antiseptic lotion so that your burnt would not get attacked by the bacteria got it and for example if you do not have antiseptic lotion or cream then what you know then what you do okay so at that condition you need to apply a toothpaste or any baking soda okay paste or baking soda so after doing this if still you are not satisfied so that this condition is not controlled by you at that you need to go for the doctor clear second case for burns we have the severe one okay if the burns are severe so in the severe case your skin just severely burnt and sometimes it gets some blisters on that particular area which is burnt okay and in that condition what are the things that we should follow for example your brother or your sister or any other of your family member or your friend gets burned severely what you do so the first thing we, that you need to do is the first point first of all just cover the burnt area okay so in the first you need to cover the burnt area with a fresh cloth of piece or a sterile gauze okay so first of all just cover the burn okay with a fresh piece of cloth or yes a sterile gauze clear and in the second case what you need to do if the patient is in shock then give him warm drink but remember the patient if the patient is senseless he is unconscious at that condition you not to you need not to give anything to the victim clear and uh, the next one so for so, uh, so in the second one you need to give warm drink so so just give warm drink to the patient if he is conscious clear and the third one that you need to do in the next one so just put the fresh piece of cloth or a sterile gauze in the antiseptic lotion and then cover the burn okay so what you need to do here dip the 
piece of cloth in antiseptic lotion and then put on the burn clear and in the last step so in the last step you should refer the patient to the doctor so just send him immediately to the doctor send the patient or victim immediately to the doctor okay because uh, these wear burn we are not able to cure properly okay and the last type of burn we have of chemicals if you are suffering from the chemical burn then what are the things that you need to do so chemical burns so the first thing that you need to do just remove the clothing where you get burnt clear remove the clothing where you get burnt clear and in the second step what you need to do here you will not put any antiseptic lotion or uh, like baking soda or other the things clear so just put the uh, so just put the sterile gauze on the burnt area and afterwards just send the patient to the doctor clear so what you need to do in the second step just put the sterile gauze clear and send him to the doctor clear so students this is for the burns uh, three uh, burns we studied for first one minor then severe and the last one is uh, and the last one was chemical okay so the things are different to do in these different uh, burns okay and in the next one so the next one we have fire fighting that means if you catch fire by the different objects so what are the things that we need to do okay so the first of all in like uh, if we talk about the different cases of fire so if the fire is caught by the petrol so at that condition how will you manage okay so any case of fire the first thing which you need to do is to call the fire brigade okay so the first thing that you need to do to call fire station clear and if we are talking about the petrol okay the fire caused by the petrol at that condition do not throw water on that clears because it can fan your flames okay so in here the thing that you need to do is to throw sand on the fire okay so throw or put sand on the fire got it so these are the two things that you need to do in the case of fire caused by the petrol okay so what would happen if the person gets burnt by in the fire okay so uh, what are the things that you need to do with that patient okay so the first thing make the patient stop running around okay it shouldn't be done that that the person is running around because it can just fan your flame so do not so the first thing do not let the patient or let the person 
run around clear and the second case just make the person roll over and over on the ground okay so make the person roll on the ground got it and the third case so here you just need to wrap the patient uh, in the blanket clear so wrap the patient in the blanket and then make him roll over and over on the ground clear and make him row on ground clear so these are the things that you need to do if the patient gets fired clear the next one we have if the fire caught by the electric gadget okay so what are the things that we need to do in that case so like as in the previous we did so here also we do not need to throw water on the electric gadget okay so just try to put down the fire with the help of sand okay so the first thing here that you need to do is throw sand on the fire and use any fire extinguisher okay so students these are the things that we should do in the case of fire fighting clear next it is for animal bites okay so animal bites if you are attacked by the different animals at that condition so what first aid would you give to the persons okay so first thing that you need to do is to wash the wound with soap and water okay so first of all wash the wound with the help of water and soap and the second thing apply antiseptic lotion antiseptic lotion on the wound with the help of sterile gauze okay and move to the doctor immediately okay in this category what kind of animals you can have like a dog bat and uh, cats so these are the animals that carry different viruses so that that after the bite of these animals we hurriedly use these steps okay so if we talk about the snake's bite then what are the precautions and first aid that you need to follow so snake's bite you know in this case treatment should be given immediately because uh, that poison can kill the person okay so first of all that you need to do is tonic wet okay so tonic wet is a kind of bandage i'll show you what kind of uh, uh, bandage this is so students this is tonic weight so this kind of bandage this is okay so when you just tie up the any part of the person okay when we screw it up then it just tightens the body part okay so if we talk about this snake bite okay just example 
द अ स्नेक बाइट्स हियर ओके एंड देन वी आर जस्ट अप्लाई टॉनिक वेट ओके एंड बाई ट्विस्टिंग इट अप इट जस्ट हेल्प्स टू स्टॉप द ब्लड सर्कुलेशन डाउन द लेग ओके एंड इट जस्ट हेल्प्स टू स्टॉप द ब्लड सर्कुलेशन एंड विद दिस द पॉइजन वुड नॉट स्प्रेड थ्रू आउट द होल बॉडी क्लियर so this is how this tonic weight works okay and afterwards just rush the patient rush the person to the doctor clear okay so these are the things that you need to do if a snake bites a person clear and the next one we have for poisoning so students we have lot of things in our house so that contains poison in these okay and for example your detergent napkin balls nail polish paint okay so these are the things that contain some poisonous or harmful chemicals which we should avoid to being eaten okay so for for poisoning we have some rules that we should follow the first rule keep the medicines away from the reach of children clear so your medicine should be locked in a box and this box should be away from the reach of the little children clear and first of all just check the expiry date printed on your medicine so your you should check the label of uh, medicines okay and uh, next wash your vegetables and fruits before eating properly okay so wash the eatables clear if the person takes all these things like detergent uh, uh, nail paint napkin balls or other the things by mistake then what would you do so first of all try to make him vomit right then okay make the person vomit clear and last one rush to the doctor and the most important thing keep the contact numbers of your nearest police station fire station doctor so that in any case of emergency you can call them and and take help of them okay and students this is what was in this chapter clear in the next video we will continue with the back exercise and the question answers of this chapter and till that you need to practice all these things clear